Friday afternoon, it's the 4th of August. You're very welcome to my place of work. I happen to be in this little cabin. Let me just spin around, show you exactly what's going on behind me. The screens, we're in the commentary box at the WGC Bridgestone Invitational at Firestone Country Club. I'm doing a commentary for the first time for PGA Tour Live, and I'm alongside this man. His name is Robert Dameron. Let me just tell you a little Howdy. bit more about Robert Dameron who's become a good friend of mine over the last couple of years. We've uh, soldiered together on a few commentaries and broadcasts, namely the US Open. Done a few things. Uh, Robert is from Kentucky, mm -hmm. uh, but lives in Orlando, Orlando, Bay Hill to be precise. And uh, he has quite an interesting claim to fame, although I don't think you knew about this. I didn't know about it, I had no idea. Until very recently. The Joel Clatt, our man Joel Clatt, found out at the U.S. Open this year. And I'll tell you what exactly this is, because it's quite a fascinating claim to fame. Robert won the Byron Nelson in uh, May of 2001, Mother's correct? Mother's Day, Mother's Day, yeah. On Mother's Day. So that was your big win on the PGA Tour. Mm -hmm. How long were you on the PGA Tour for? Ten years. Ten years. Where did you go to college? Central Florida. You did indeed. So, um... Big win at the Byron Nelson. It was a very big year in golf, actually, and around about that time because Tiger Woods, when he won the Masters in April, the previous month, it meant that he had all four major trophies on his mantelpiece. It's never been done before. It probably will never be done again. Uh, it's affectionately known as the Tiger Slam. So... The only man who beat Tiger Woods when he had all four major trophies in his possession was this man, Robert Tam. I had a very short prime, but it was a good. It burned very hot and bright for that one week and then you know, kind of crud the rest of the time. But So after the Masters in cool. uh, 2001, when uh, Tiger achieved the Tiger Slam, he played in three more tournaments before the U.S. Open of 2001, which was in Oklahoma. Oklahoma, Retief. Retief and uh, Mark Brooks and Stuart Sink were the guys who were gunslinging it at the end of that one, but Retief came out on top in the playoff with Brooks. So in those three tournaments, he won two of them after the Masters in 2001. Mm -hmm. And he finished, where did he finish in Byron Nelson? Third, three shots back. So the only man to beat Tiger Woods when he had all four Grand Slams is this man here, Robert Dameron. I guess there's there's worse claims to fame to have, I guess. Beating the best at his prime, even if it is just one week. 